everybody, it's Mr. DeMeo. And I'm Andy. I'm, I dyed my hair and I am no longer blue, but I am now in this video and you will never see the blue guy ever again. Hey, has anyone seen my sweatshirt? Well, don't look at me, I didn't do it. I'm bored. Do you have anything to drink? Here, have some Crystal Pepsi. Don't drink it all, it's the... It's the last bottle on Earth. Relax, man. I'll just go to the store and buy some. Hey, Roberta, where can I get some Crystal Pepsi? Crystal Pepsi was discontinued in 1992. Hmm, try Googling it. Well, it says here the only way to get Crystal Pepsi is to go back in time. Hey guys, aren't we supposed to be learning about black holes? Well, that's it! What's it? No one knows what's on the other side of a black hole. There could be a ton of Crystal Pepsi! There's definitely not gonna be any Crystal Pepsi there. Or maybe a time machine. There's probably not a time machine either. Or maybe a sweatshirt or something. There's not gonna be any time machines, Crystal Pepsi, or sweatshirts. Or how about a robot that will agree with me for once? Okay, fine. But we're gonna need a spaceship. Aye, yes. You picked the perfect place. We have spaceships of all kinds. From purple to light purple. Stop! I want that one right there. Nice, nice. A good choice. That will be... 300 billion doll hairs. Dollars or doll hairs? That's impossible! How much can I get for three dollar coins? That one. That hunk of junk? It's a giant box of cereal. It's got a banana duct tape to the side of it. That's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. It's a parsec. Says here it's a root vegetable that's high in fiber and helps you go. No, not again. Roberta, activate the hyperdrive. We're gonna take this sucker into light speed. Sir, the chances of successfully jumping into light speed from the ground are 1,302. Never tell me the odds. It's showtime. Wow, that was easy. I thought finding a black hole would be hard. Finding a black hole is actually really hard. They don't emit any radiation, so they're pretty much invisible. So they're like ghosts? You didn't tell me there'd be ghosts. Can we go back so I can get my diaper? I cannot do that. But wait, if black holes are invisible, how am I seeing one right now? See, a black hole can't be seen because of its extremely strong gravity pulling all the light towards its center. But scientists can see the effects of the black hole's strong gravity on nearby stars and gases around it. So basically, black holes are like toilets. Andy, come on, man. Don't be gross. What are you talking about? You love toilets. Wee! 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 We weren't supposed to tell anyone about that, but Roberta, can you explain how we're able to see black holes? And does your explanation have a toilet in it? Actually, it does. Here, look at this. This is a toilet with some glow-in-the-dark dust in it. Now let's pretend that the dust in the toilet are nearby stars and gases, and the drain is the black hole. Can you see the drain in the toilet? Well, I can't. Well. When I flush the toilet, you are going to see the drain. Now, just like the black hole, the only way we are going to see it, it's by how it affects the things around it. Ready, set, go. Did you see the drain now? Well, the reason you could is because it was affecting the things around it. 
Oh, I get it now. So, how many black holes are there? Well, there are so many black holes in the universe that it's impossible to count. Still, scientists estimate that there are over 100 billion black holes out there. Roberta's right. Asking how many black holes there are is like asking how many grains of sand there are in your local beach. Ugh, I hate sand. It's rough, coarse, and gets everywhere. He's an angry elf. Stop fighting, you guys. Come on, we've got learning to do. Oh, I'm sorry. So which black hole is this? To be honest, man, I don't even really know. I just punched in black hole into the computer and it brought us here. And like Roberta said, there's like an estimated 100 billion black holes out there. We could be anywhere. Well, maybe he has the crystal Pepsi you wanted. Let's find out. It's not true. I didn't do it. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, there's nobody named Mark here, man. Just go along with it. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, Mr. Black Hole, it's me, Mark, again. Is there any chance you have Crystal Pepsi inside of you? <laughs> Did you say little poppies, Mark? Because I don't have no poppies inside of me. No, no, Crystal Pepsi. Oh. I don't have that neither. Well, if you don't have Crystal Pepsi or little puppies inside of you, what is inside a black hole? Well, truthfully, Mark, I don't even know. And scientists aren't even sure either. How about I just jump into you and find out? Hey, Roberta, what would happen if I jumped into a black hole? The term that describes what happens when you go into a black hole is... Spaghettification. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't get it. What's so funny? No, Roberta, for real. What would really happen if we really jumped into a black hole? I told you. Spaghettification. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. She's even pretty right now. Lasagna-vacation! <laughs> How about chicken parm-vacation? <laughs> yeah, or like lasagna-vacation! <laughs> we already said that one. But for real, spaghettification is a real thing. Here, look at this. Let's use a picture of you, for example. A horrible picture, but still. To put it simply, the gravity on one side of the black hole would be very strong, while the gravity on the other side would be less strong. So technically, your feet would be falling faster than your head. Think about that. Whoa. This would cause you to be stretched out like a piece of spaghetti. It would tear you apart, Lisa. What? Oh, sorry. Anyway, how are you? What are you thinking? Tell me about your day. I'm fine. I'm just shocked that like the smartest minds in the world get together and the best they come up with is spaghettification. <laughs> hey, black hole. Yes, Mark? I've seen pictures and drawings of black holes before and they all look really different. But are there different types of black holes? Of course, Mark. Here, look at these. There are three types of black holes, Mark. Stellar, supermassive, and intermediate. Let's start with supermassive, ya. Yeah? Now a supermassive black hole is, you guessed it, supermassive. These types of black holes can be found in the center of a galaxy. Supermassive black holes are not 15 times bigger, not 35 times bigger, Mark but a billion times more massive than our sun. Now look at this picture of the Milky Way galaxy. This is the supermassive black hole found in the center. Whoa. And this is our sun. Hi, doggy. Scientists aren't certain how these black holes form, but they do know that once they formed, they gather mass from the dust and gas around them, material that is plentiful in the center of galaxies, allowing them to grow to enormous sizes. Next are the stellar black holes. 
These black holes form when a large star burns through the last of its fuel and collapses into itself. Woo! 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 Uh oh! No more woo! These types of black holes are small compared to the supermassive ones, Mark, but incredibly dense. Stellar black holes are like packing three times the mass of the sun into the size of a city. That's what gives it such a strong gravitational pull. Scientists believe that the Milky Way galaxy, the one you live in, has a few hundred stellar black holes in it. Last are the intermediate black holes. There is very little information about these, but we do know that their size is in between the stellar and supermassive. The interesting fact about intermediate black holes is that scientists aren't even sure if they exist. So what type of black hole are you? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Come on. Okay, fine. I'm a supermassive black hole. That took a lot of convincing. Well, since it's so easy to convince you to do things, can you tell me about the parts of a black hole? Well, sure, princess. Here, look at these. This is a drawing I made to help you understand the parts of a black hole. Wow! And this is a drawing of a blue duck I made on Microsoft Paint. Black holes have three main parts. The outer event horizon, the inner event horizon, and singularity. The outer event horizon is the very outer layer. You would still be able to escape from a black hole's gravity because the gravity on this layer is not as strong as the middle or center. Next is the inner event horizon. If you didn't escape the black hole's gravity before you entered the inner event horizon, then you have missed your chance to escape. The gravity in this layer is much stronger and does not let go of objects it captures. At this point, you would begin to fall towards the center of a black hole. Within the event horizon, this is the point at which if matter or light gets any closer, it cannot escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! No, we're not. We're gonna die! Last is the singularity. The singularity is the very center of a black hole. Singularity is a better way of saying squashed up star. Who you calling squashed up? This is where all the mass of the black hole has been compressed down to nearly zero volume. Whoa. Imagine a NASA spaceship being smushed into, let's say, a crystal Pepsi bottle. The singularity would be the Pepsi bottle. Most importantly, it is where the gravity is the strongest. I wonder if there are red holes, or, or green holes, or, or blue. <laughs> Your blue dog is funny, Mark. I like him. Where did you buy him? I didn't buy him. He kind of just follows me around. Oh, so you so you got him at like the the blue dog store or something? The place the place where that sells blue dogs? Uh, yes. Rather than where I'm from, why don't you tell me how black holes are formed? Yeah. That's easy, doggy. Here, check this out. A bird come to fly, and he fly very high. Squirrel see him and go, I'm mad at my mom and dad. I like you. You fly too high, you should come down. Bird don't listen. Instead, he goes to the moon. And when he lands on moon, he say, what? There's no vegetables here. I really need my fruits and vegetables. So he cry. His tears float, cause moon float. That make a lot of sense. And then, the black hole come and that's it. What, what are we doing? I'm trying to learn how a black hole is formed, but this guy keeps talking about bird tears. What? Uh, I'll tell them how a black hole is formed. It's simple. When a large star dies, a black hole is born. I remember when they named Earth. See, when a giant star is at the end of its life cycle, it explodes. Ooh, I've been waiting for this for some time. The explosion is called a supernova. If the star has enough mass, it will collapse on itself down to a very small size. Due to its tiny size and huge mass, the gravity will be so strong, it will absorb light and become
That's cool and all, but I think I like my bird explanation better. Man, all this talking about black holes is making me hungry. Me too. If only there was a way to get some... SPAGHETTI! What is wrong with you people? Stay Exactly the same. Maybe, Maybe this place, place will have some crystal, crystal Pepsi, Pepsi to go with the spaghetti, spaghetti we're, we're never gonna, gonna find. find. Uh, hey, hey, did you hear that? Oh, hi, Mark. can I get for this coin? What about a gigantic big book of raccoons? <laughs> <laughs>